Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need Judge Robert Lane heard from the prosecution and the defense today concerning the case that they are calling the 254 dogs and the 24 dogs. This case appears to have involved many more dogs than originally thought, as learned today by News 25. Nye County Sheriff's Office Detective Morgan Dillon told News 25 that when the Est Outfit Kennel property in Amargosa was searched on August 23rd, that there were dogs that were missing feet. Detective Dillon said Est Outfit the kennel's caretaker, Arxana Higgins, was at first attempting to cover the dog's feet and then behaving like it was not a big deal. The officer also said that Vasily Platinov dismissed the maimed and tortured animals as well. When talking to him about the dogs, even the one that originally started this case that had a limb missing, dogs were in poor condition with sores all over their bodies from lying in urine, some with maggots on them, and even in their eyes. They had open wounds and injuries, were starving and neglected in extreme temperatures. He said that puppies were inside the garage area that had no airflow and appeared to be deceased. The officer said Higgins had to poke them to get them to respond with little movement. Many animals had parvo and some euthanized. There are all types of disease and worms on the animals that are not purebred but mixed breeds. Armenium gamfer of Charka Caucasian Shepherd and Russian Caucasian Shepherd. News 25 learned today that a crematorium in Las Vegas has cremated at least 88 dogs in the past few months from Estalfa Kennels. They also say that there is various veterinarians in Las Vegas who has been taking care of these animals and putting them to sleep or attending to different injuries, wounds, and illnesses. The animal pit in Amargosa had 28 dogs deceased inside of it, and a freezer had 24 dead puppies here inside of it in Pahrump. In 2019, at a regional planning commission meeting, neighbors complained that Platinov was burning what they thought was feces on the property. Some thought that it may have been deceased animals. Neighbors reported that they saw dead dog bodies in the trash. Platinov was still able to keep the dogs on the property in Pahrump, though he was not approved for a kennel license for that many animals. The county commented that they did not want to take custody of the animals since it was such a huge undertaking. Instead, he made arrangements to move the animals to a location in Amargosa. The ASPCA attempted at one time to help Nye County with the dogs, but that request was rejected. Today, Judge Robert Lane said he wanted to give Give Platinov's attorney Tom Gibson more time to respond to the allegations against his client. The prosecution had brought in the ASPCA, their attorney, Nye County Sheriff's Office, police officers, veterinarians, animal shelter employees, and massive photo evidence to present to the court. Judge Lane said that the state needs to close a civil case about the dog relocation from Pahrump to Amargosa. The new civil case is concerning the custody of the animals. Attorney Gibson said Platinov has sold a few of the dogs that are currently under the care and custody of the Nye County Sheriff's Office and that he has already collected money on those animals. The judge has set an evidentiary hearing for September 29th at 8.30 in the morning, and the criminal case arraignment for Vasily Platinov and Oksana Higgins will be October 3rd at 9 a.m. in the Beatty Justice Court. Yeah, I'm not quite sure the context that you plan on admitting evidence is, because this isn't an evidentiary hearing, but we'll get to that in a minute and find out why you need an exhibit book. Well, I thought we were going to talk about the law, but... You tell me what we're here for, Brad. Okay, I thought it was a hearing on the um, condition of the animals, uh, what Nye County Sheriff's Office investigated, what they found. So under uh, Act 74, <coughs> the court would order uh, a forfeiture, as it were, to Nye County Sheriff's Office. That was my understanding of the purpose of the hearing today. We had two or three years worth of hearings on a civil case regarding the dogs being in Pahrump. Too many dogs in Pahrump. It wasn't zoned for it. So Tom went in front of the commissioners and knowing Tom, he probably went to the feds and all yeah, kinds of stuff. I, I imagine you did. Trying to say, hey, he should be allowed to have all these dogs in Pahrump. And it was in front of me civilly, and we right. said, no, you can't have the dogs in Pahrump. Right. And then over the next two or three years, we had multiple hearings of you guys 
uh, saying, oh, he's trying to move the dogs, he found a property, he's got people who are helping him and stall and stall, six months, four months, six months, we had all these hearings. And uh, the record should be clear that in that time frame, nobody ever once said to me, there's problems with the dogs. It was we have recent contracts of up to like three, two to three months ago, where they just had, where the dogs had not been delivered yet. And it was not for anyone to, uh, playing games with the core or with, with Mr. Platinum. These, these are actual purchases. Because that's how he makes his money. He sells these dogs. And uh, I can, you know, I'll wait for the evidentiary hearing, but mind you, a lot of the problem here was, was as, as you correctly pointed out, Judge, this went on for a long time, but as it was going, going on, the first couple of years, we were tied up in federal court, so nothing happened. 